guys, today I'm going to be showing you uh, some general maintenance tips on my DRZ-125. The general maintenance of this bike is made in three part series. And the first series, which we're doing today, we're going to be doing changing the oil, the oil filter, and the spark plug. The second um, series is going to be the air filter, and then the third series is going to be for the how to change out grips. So, for to do the oil, we start by loosening the dip stick, so we allow air into the motor. The, and then we already loosened this, which and we're gonna undo the oil right now. All right, so that, we just did that, and this will take about five minutes to drain, and we just have to hold the bike up here. I just finished uh, draining the oil and tightened the oil bolt back up, and now I'm going to take the oil filter out here and we just loosen the bolts here. There we go. So now we're going to go get the new oil filter and stick it in there. Alright, so I just got the new oil filter here for the bike. So uh, this is the difference. It's black and nice and yellow, the new one. So we just took the excess oil out of where the oil filter sits in. So I have to moist it so it doesn't stick to the back. So I'm just gonna take a little dab of oil here and I'm just gonna put a little film right around the two rings here. If it gets off it, it doesn't matter. Put that in nice, put a little more there. Just just a little nice film there so just so it doesn't stick. All right, so that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna put it in, make sure the hole is at the back. All right, it's in there good. So now we're gonna take our oil filter cap and make sure the oil filter cap is always, the oil filter logo is always facing up. Put this in here, just like that. And there's a spring there, make sure when you put it in, it's nice and snug. Put these bolts on. I'm just gonna put these on nice and easy and then tighten them here. Looking good. So after this we are going to put fresh oil in and then after that we are going to do the spark plug. So I'm gonna go in this one. go all right grab the wrench after this all right perfect second one here good I did we did pretty good here these ones are top ones are loose all right so now we are going to put fresh oil in 
filter done, we are going to put some new oil in. So the bike requires 950 milliliters, and the weight of the oil is 10W40. So now we're going to drain the oil into the bike. There it goes. So after this, we're going to do the spark plug. And after we're finished the oil, we're going to make sure we are level on the oil. We have enough and it's correct. Now that we uh, put the oil in, we're going to put the fill cap on here. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, so we're going to go around the bike here and uh, put the bike up on like right side up here so this is the spot where you check that you've put the correct oil in here so the line it's by the, the top line and it says F so F for full and that looks good so now we're going to move on to the spark plug now with everything done uh, for the oil now we are going to do the spark plug so first we are going to take the cap off and we're going to loosen the spark plug. Loosen it there. It's pretty good. We'll finger it with our fingers. All right, almost there. Okay, so the spark plug is black, so that indicates that we totally have to change it. All right, so we're gonna go over here to the bench. So the spark plug we are using today is a DR7EA NGK. So the gapping is uh, in inches and it's 0 0.24 to 0 0.28. So we're, we pick 0 0.26. So let's find it. Okay, find it right here. So let's pull the new one out. The difference. This one's way nicer. <laughs> Alright, so the you gap it, so you're gonna put it right in to where right in there. And the way to know if it's good is if it if you if it tugs when you come out, which this has right there. So it tugs, so that means it's good. Alright, so this is good. Now we're going back over to the bike. We're gonna put it in. All right. So you wanna go slow and steady with it because you don't wanna strip it. Because if you strip it, you're gonna have to re-tap the hole. So this one's going in really easy than other ones that I've tried. There we go. Great. Looking good. There we go. All right. Let's put. Use the wrench on it. Perfect, all right, so that's tightened, and now we are going to put the cap on. And now we are going to start the bike up. With the oil change done, we're gonna start the bike and run the new oil through the motor. series and stick around for part two and three make sure to like subscribe and comment